blowing up. I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. And you know how we do it. We always bring you the legendary people in the city. We always touch on the history in our city. And we always bring you special guests. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to motherfucking Lit Podcast. Roll up your goddamn blunts and get lit with me. Today in my seat, man, we got no other than the legendary Boonky in the motherfucking house. You know what I'm talking about? What's going down, Boonky? What's up with it, man? What's up with it, man? I, I, I see you back. I said, man, how you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm doing good, man. You know, it's chilly, man. Already, right. I see you blessed. Happy New Year's to everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Man, how your New Year's went? Oh man, everything good, man. You ain't turn up, you pop bottles, everything. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, uh, sit at the house, kicked it with the family, you know. Okay. About it. Okay, everybody did slow mo this year, you know what I'm saying? I did the slow mo thing too, I wasn't trying to get out that much. But I did get fucked up, <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna lie, I got high in the motherfucker. Man, my nigga got high, when my, uh, my people came down, they came from Hawaii with the Maui. Got on them goddamn Maui. I was shit. Hell damn I, Boy, that Maui was so goddamn good. I wish I had some of that Maui right now. <laughs> shit, for real. But yeah. for the people out there, they don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? And don't understand this history of Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I want people to understand right here. This is Bokey, man. You know what I'm saying? This the one. This, you know, nah, nah, this, this is no other, man. This this the one, you know what I'm saying, that just be in the cut, you know. And then you be like, damn, who that nigga on that album? You don't even know who the nigga is. And then you shit, you run, say, damn, that nigga, that was you right there? Oh, damn, nigga, you went, nigga, you went off, 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 off. Now, I know I heard you on a lot of people albums back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Other people like that mixtapes and stuff like that. I want to know, I want you to tell the people, like, how did you get in the game? And what inspired you to even say, like, hey, I want to take rapping serious? You know, like, uh, I say back in the day, man, I just fell in love with music, man. Fell in love with it, you know, me and uh, a couple of my partners, you know, in the neighborhood, you know, in the Grove. You know, we formed a group called uh, Underground Players. Underground you know Players. Back in the 90s. Underground play. See, back in the nineties, everybody would play us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, running around doing our thing, man. Right. You know, we recorded all our music, or whatever, this and that, this and that. But you know, we kept it to ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. We put it out there for everybody to hear. We right. kept it around the hood. So I always look at it like maybe that's why our nigga didn't. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, touch that level. You know what I'm saying? Because we kept our shit to ourselves. You know, thinking you know we're gonna get that deal or whatever, but. Yeah, you know, we just have fun doing what we're doing in the hood. Well, I, 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 I can say, I can honestly say, I think a lot of us is like that. But sometimes when we be doing music with other people, that music leaks and touches mm-hmm. hands. And the next thing you know, you don't know an impact that you done made. Or certain people like, oh, 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 shit. You know what I'm saying? But you like, hey, I, I didn't did nothing. But when you look back, when you go in the hood, you be like, shit, niggas respect you for, yeah. for certain shit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, you know, you, you I want, I want to know, like, First of all, how, how you doing? How you doing, man? Good, you man. good? You good? You sure you all right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I always got to ask that, you know what I'm saying? Chilling, so, like, what's, what what was it like back in the 90s, growing up in Dallas, and really want to pursue a career in rapping, you know what I'm saying? And then after I asked that question, I got another question to back that up. You said, what was it like in the 90s? Growing up and want to pursue music back in the 90s in Dallas. 90s, I, I say, man, it was it was just a different feel, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, everybody had their own different styles. You know what I'm saying? It was just that hunger. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, shit, we gonna go to the studio, man. Come up with the tightest bar, the tightest song. You know, find the, the rawest, tightest beat. Just go in the studio and just drop it. it I don't know. It was just something about the 90s. It was just like that grimy, that grimy period of right. time. You know what I'm right. saying? So. It's something different, you know. What was studio time like in the nineties? What was like they people have half studios like kinda like now or was it Oh, I'm trying to think. In the nineties, I don't even think I seen too many half studio. I think first studio nigga really hit was the kitchen. You the know, kitchen? Over there, over oh, JP? With JP. Okay. Over there by um I think the fair part. Okay. Going over there recording him. So, yeah. Shout out JP. Mm-hmm. 
He got a lot of history come through there, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of people, like a lot of people stuff, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, and then I shit, yeah, nigga try to go back through there, get something, I'm pretty sure he probably ain't got it. <laughs> I, I, I hit him up. Hey, yeah. JP, you got the old, I ain't got none of that. We, we recording on, I think it was that. That like, taste, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, so, oh yeah, that was a different experience. Yeah, yeah you gotta keep up with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, hit him, I sure hit him up. Hey, man, you ain't got none of that stuff we did, but the uh, Souls of Sin, S.O. Oh, like, Souls of Sin. Souls of Sin. Yeah. Yeah, it was like 97. Yeah, that, that, that throwback. Yeah, that's what the skulls on the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I remember the soul scene, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I try to stay tapped in, man, because it was a lot of y'all putting that work back then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, back then, what, what was the, who, who, who was you listening to? Like, who was inspiring you to rap? Like, who was around the hood, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing at that time? Around the hood, like, growing up back then, man, I got to give it up to my boy Ron C. Right. Yeah, shout out Ron C. You know okay. Saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was, that, to me, that, that's who would motivate me. Ron C. Then, you know what I'm talking about? K. Blowfly. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Ron C. and Blowfly. Okay, okay. I can respect that. What's, I can respect that. So, like, who. What, 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 what started you into the into the fast rap? What, 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 like, cause you know what I'm saying? I know this, you know what I'm saying? You can, mm -hmm. I can't do it. I ain't gonna I lie to you. Like, I ain't gonna try. <laughs> in, in the hood, I gotta give it up to my boy Fatal Insane. You know, okay. he go by EHJ now. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? He the one kind of formed me into that, you know, flipping. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I always looked up to Busy Bone. That was like one of my favorite rappers. Like okay, Busy Bone. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to ask you that. Okay. Yeah, so yeah Busy was say Busy was short. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially when he came out with his first solo album. Mm -hmm. And then he did that. You see, I know you've seen the visuals. You said who? The verses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the visuals. Yeah, yeah. uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Busy Bone. And I was crunk. Who you hey. think won? Boom. Boom, okay, I read it. I read it. Earphones on and my computer right here. I had uh -oh. a game playing on the TV. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm loud. Kids kept coming in the room. What's going on with my daddy? I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about, man, I'm crunk. Yeah, bone I think I like I like the bone. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I, I feel like Triple Six didn't really hone in on the old Triple Six, you know what I'm saying? They focus on more of the commercial side, yeah. but Triple Six did do their thing. Yeah, they, 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 they put on a good performance. Yeah, they put on a good performance. Good performance. You know, yeah. Triple Six was more crunk. Yeah, yeah, they, they crunk. They brought out everybody, all the features and stuff. Mm. They were more crunk, you know, bone. Yeah, yeah, they bought out my boy A-Ball. I was like, ooh, shit. But it was legendary, though. I was looking at it, man, like, man, I can't, I, all these years, because, you know, back in the day, right. Bone and Three Six were beefing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So just to see them on stage together like right. that, I was like, man, this some legendary shit right here. That was some legendary shit. So, okay, so what made you take rap serious? Now, I want to know what really made you take rap serious. Which said, you said, man, I can I can do this. Yeah, I just felt like, man, I always felt like I had something to say. You know what I'm saying? Something right. to say. And, I, you know, topics and stuff to talk about, you know. Rapping, you know, to me, it was kind of like a, uh, a therapeutic thing, you know what I'm right. saying? Uh -huh. Like, it was like therapy, man. I said, damn, you know, if I'm feeling something or going through something, write it down. Write it down, put it on wax, man, put it out. Right. So, I say, I always took rapping serious, man. Everybody that know it, they know. Like, Boca gonna be in that studio, Boca gonna be writing something, like, shit, that was, that was just in me, man. Right, so what's the writing process, like, when you, when you, when you trying to address, you know, writing a song, what it's like, what you, you going in there and you just, you know, you coming up with topics, you know what I'm saying, then you, then you bouncing off of topics, or, or you already got some premeditated? Uh, it depends, man, it depends, yeah. it's like, I might come up with the hook, I might come up with the first line, you right. know what I'm saying, and just go off of that. Then you know once I get to feeling the you know feeling it out feeling it out then I put the hook on I mean it's just different shit right yeah so, so. you said you started with a group let's go back to this group because we can't just stay, stay that far away so you started with this group so what it was like working with this group how y'all how y'all formed this group oh uh, the group man I say um middle school middle school yeah we like we all like brothers man right you know, we all brothers middle school you know partner O E. He gonna get mad at me for calling him old, oh, but no, Eddie, Eddie Mac, Eddie you know Mac, what you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Eddie Mac, my partner, uh, Lil M, partner, big, uh, Baliosis, partner, Dank, you know what I'm talking about? We all just came together, you know, putting it down, man. Putting it down, you know, we had our ups and downs, though, you right. know, this person going to jail, that person going to jail, this person, you know, so, but 
you know, it all came together. Right, you make a balance, you know, but that's, that's so it's so so it's a process when you have a group. Yeah, you know what process. I'm saying? So how it's like like being in a group and trying to like come up with with the tracks and the beats together. You know what I'm saying? Shit, this mm, we. I mean, shit. Cause you know that's different personalities. Yeah, that what I that what I was trying to get to. It's yeah. like shit. This person might be feeling it. This person don't. You know what I'm saying? So right. shit, we we had our we had our look. You know. Dibs and dabs in it, but you know me, man. I I jump on anything. My boys feeling this shit. I'm with it. Right, Ooh. right, right, right. So you like you music inclined. You like shit. If the music there, let's go and get it done. Ooh. I already, I already. I can respect that. I can respect that. So what? What really led for the group? The group kind of like separating and going to solo solo ventures. Oh, I, I think man, just getting older. You know, getting older, getting older and mm-hmm. you know this person, you know having family. This person, you know. Got this going on over here, and you know, just just growing up, getting older, you know. I guess you know, probably losing, you know, the passion, the love for it. I guess, but you know me, right? I'm stay right here. And so, I, I see. I mean, I see you stay on that music, man. Let's let's talk about your music. Cause right now, I see right now what we got. First, first, I see you promoting uh, my store, Bunky, my store. Y'all make sure y'all cop that. You know what I'm saying? Right All there. platforms right there. And then, then you got you say that's my baby, okay. Baby, and then you good. got I done came a long way right here on all platforms. Y'all make sure y'all go cop that right there too. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about my story. You say that's my baby. Yeah, what what makes that your baby right there? I don't know. I say I, I want to say man. I think I put a lot of time, a lot of time into that one, man. A okay. Lot of time and money. You know, right. Really. Right. Right. I reached out to a lot of people on there. You know, I got a OG copy map from Blowfly. You know, in my mind, you know, I was like, man, they ain't did no music and. Since the nineties, let me, you know, try to, you know, bring them back together. Right. So I hooked that up, got them you know, did the video. Hey, so what's that folks you talking about? Yeah, How that bitch right there raw. Uh how did that uh Big Chief, Dog Chief, got him on there. I shout out Big Chief. Got my boy uh Pooka Lee Roy and Street C on there. Oh yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. No shame on there. Shout out Shane, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Part of the Lit family, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, that's my baby though. Well, okay, man. But who who you all work with in the city, man? Shit, I don't work with um, uh, I don't work with a lot of people, man, in the city. You know, like mainly like, you know, inner circle, really. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't work with a lot of people, man. You right. Know, under the radar. Under the radar, yes. and all that. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? What is a? Do you think it's a gap in between each division uh, of artists in Dallas, like from? Your 80s to your 90s to your mid 90s to your 2000s, you know what I'm saying? Do you think we have a gap in between each other? You say gap, what's because mean? like, um, as far as like the youngsters reaching out to the OGs, the OGs reaching out to the youngsters. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I can say yeah, it is. it's a gap. It's a gap. Yeah. So, what, what, what is it? What is it? What do you think it consi- what the uh, gap consists of? Is it is because everybody still track on trying to get to where they trying to go to yeah. or is it just it ain't no love period I ain't gonna really just say it's no love I think I think the older generation we more on like different topics you know right. what I'm saying the younger generation more on like I, like you know like we were young we was talking about shooting and chopping and all this <coughs> this and that and mm-hmm. and but I think as you get older your mind you know take you to another place you can't talk about that back you know so I think the youngsters you know they on that you know, the young nigga right, shit. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I just can't see it, you know, coming together like that. But I think, yeah, it is a gap. Right. But I, I, I don't really not ask that because, like, sometimes you got to know where you come from to know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, especially us out here, you know, in Dallas, we... we we, we got a legacy and I feel like if, if we try to keep that legacy together, you know what I'm saying, we'll, we'll have a more stronger structure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our structure is kind of, you know what I'm saying, weak. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like only, like we say, man, you know what I'm saying, can really, you know what I'm saying, keep something stable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you come to the table, and it don't mean that you're going to reach out and save everybody, anything like that. But like you say, like, you know, like when you take out with certain people and you reach out to the youngsters, you know what I'm saying, trying to put them in a certain position, even if it's just being a feature or that I'm yeah. showing up to a video shoot or something like that, or just showing, you know, reaching a hand out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that shit, that little shit right there go a long way. You know what I'm saying? I, and I think, uh, 
Cottonmouth did a good job of that, and I think you did a good job of that, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I done reached out to you plenty yeah, of times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and you and you right there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think a lot of people, too, don't understand on this platform when I give people y'all flowers, because that's what I'm doing right now, giving your flowers, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, that, you know, it's not that nobody's kissing ass, it's just that sometimes you overlook what's right there in front mm -hmm. of you, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes all you gotta do is just reach, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's gonna be right there, you know what I'm saying? And I wanna say thank you for the, you know, the contribution that you had to the Dallas Legacy yeah. if you really don't know that you did or you're not, you know what I'm saying? Because it takes, it takes heart, you know what I'm saying? Dedication. And definitely motherfucking pride when you're doing this music. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfucker, you, we all know shit, nigga. You can be out of house and home the next day fucking with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, nigga, I go get a job, gotta do whatever you gotta do, scrape, scrape up, you know what I'm saying? If it gotta be for the next beat studio time or whatever the case it may be. Yeah. See, you know? A lot of people don't know that, you know what I'm saying? That they look at it like shit, put me in the studio, nigga, look, like, nah, it ain't just that easy, man. Right. <laughs> right, right. They, they don't they know easy. about all this money, this, all this money you gotta put behind. Right. And then trying to see how you gonna get the motherfucking money back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what's some things that you learned over over the time in your experience in this music? You know what I'm saying? That it helped you along your way. Um, learned. I want to say. Um, I mean, I guess just learning the business, man. All right. You know, learning the business. You know, every day, you know, you, you learn something else. So I get. I want to say, you know, learning the business. All right, right, right. Back in the back in in the, in the day, you know, what I'm saying, you know, we ain't look at like the business and all that. Like the mixing and mastering and you know and all that type of stuff. Like I'm, when we was rapping back in the day, I don't even think we was mixing shit back then. I think we just hit the studio and we was out. Right, like, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, <laughs> I mean, you learn every day though, man. Right. You learn something new every day. Right, right. So when 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 did you when did you know money was involved in music? Really, like when niggas was really getting money for music. Like getting money. Yeah. Shit. I mean. I just I don't know. Cause you know, yeah, cause you like, know, in the nineties, and it was a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Because it was all about you know the art. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, by, by time P and Cash Money came around. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just knew like shit with it. I know money was gonna come. So right, shit. right. Yeah. Hey, yeah, shit. Cause when P and them came around, shit. You know that's what he was saying. He, he put money in that motherfucker rap. You know what I'm saying? And back then, people. You know, we weren't, you know, whatever, you know. Yeah. But then the jewels, all that shit came out and shit, and that shit was just the bling bling, the, you know. Mm -hmm. Shit, it was a whole different story then, shit. Yeah. Cause I know that you came up in that area, right? You came, yeah, you came up in that 90, 90, 90. So, like, who did you, like, who did you always want to work with that you never got a chance to work with out here in Dallas? Dallas, um, I wanna say, uh, Mr. Lucci. Mr. Lucci, shout out Lucci. Yeah, Mr. Lucci. Shout I always want to work with Mr. Lucci. Yeah, and that's mm -hmm. what's up. Who oh, you always wanted to work with in the industry that you never got to work, that you always wanted to work with? In the industry? Mm -hmm. You gotta say Busy Bone. Busy Bone? Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, yeah, that'd be a say, that'd be a raw track. That'd be, that'd be a raw track. I can hear that. I can say Busy, I can hear that. You know what I'm saying? For real. Tune in, tap in, for real. Okay, so. Like, I see you made you a DVD. What was the process of making? What, what we said? What, what started you to say like, okay, man, I need to like shine, shine light on what's going on over here at PB Block and all yeah. this stuff like this. What, 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 what set, what set the uh, the the gas or the light bulb off and say, man, I, I gotta do this. You know what I'm um, saying? I, I mean, I feel like it was time. You know, like I feel like us as a group underground player, like we. I feel like we done been through a lot, us as a right. group, all of us, and you know, life situations and dealing with the music. I was just going through some old tapes and shit, old VHS, uh, VHS tapes. And I was like, damn, we got a lot of shit on her, old shows and shit. And I was just reaching out to different people, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, who can put this shit together? So I had my boy J-Rod, he came through and he did a good job with that motherfucker, he put it together. Yeah, he did a damn, damn good job put that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm talking about you got the cars up in there, Cadillacs, Smokes, you know what I'm saying? Then you go back even further from when you were younger. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't know, I didn't know, I didn't know you go, it made it, I'm talking about, that's some, that's some shit, man. Who was filming y'all at that age? Uh, I don't know, what part you talking about though? Uh, uh, it, was, I, it, was, it was close. It was it was like it was the part when you was in the living room. Oh yeah, I think we had like a, a stand 
put the video camera up there and we just got the you know lip sync and some of my old music and shit. Yeah, yeah, I would say, yeah. hey, you, you had you had go. So you've been rapping, you've been rapping like this ain't nothing new. You've been rapping like this since like yeah, like this. That was like 1995. 90, 95. Yeah. 95. God mm -hmm. damn. So you got longevity. So how long you think you been how long you think you been rapping? Shit. Yeah. You, you make no. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen years. <laughs> what I'm gonna say. I can tell my age, man. I can tell my age. <laughs> uh, we gonna say, we gonna tell my age around here, shit. But we, I mean, okay. About twenty, about twenty plus. Man. Already. So, what, man, what was your man? What was your favorite project you put out back then? Favorite project as a group that y'all put out back then. What was your, you know, what I'm saying? Group. Yeah, as a group, man. What was that one song that y'all that you were so proud of that you were like, yeah, this, yeah, this is this is the shit. Mm, I don't know, man. We got a lot of goddamn songs. I, I can't even just pick one. Man, I know you got one of them, man. One that you as a, as, as a group. Yeah, well, yeah, as a group. And that song you probably can't even find right now. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gotta be uh, Thuggish Ways or Breaking Them Up. I can't find them songs for now. Yeah, see, I know you had Thuggish Ways. Yeah, okay. Them one of the songs I had called JP at the kitchen. I'm like, man, you ain't got none of that old music. Like, yeah, Thuggish, yeah. Thuggish Ways, Breaking Them Up. Right. I think we did them like in 97. Not throwback. Yeah, you can't those find those. Won't those right there. Mm -hmm. Man, what's up, man? What was the process, man, of getting y'all name out there, man? What was y'all performing and stuff at? Um, shit, we was at, um, we were performing at? We were performing at like, um, little tennis shows. Like, I don't know if you remember this tennis show. I mean, this place called, um, I think it was called Prime Time Live 21 or some shit like that. Prime Live 21. It was downtown or something like that. That shit sound familiar. That one was Skip Cheetah, was it? I don't remember who it was, but I know we went and did a show there, and they were like the winner get a verse from Pimp C and 500 cash. We won the show, and we went back to go, you know, uh -huh. see what's up with our prize or whatever. They were like, we, you know, we don't know nothing about that. What the? Like, that <coughs> shit. <coughs> oh, shit, they done pulled one. Yeah, they pulled one up. Oh. That's my way in the fuck out for a shot. Man, we shouldn't even shout out Brian. Yeah, we done we done been we done been um we done been around the city, man. We done been after um what is it little town? Longview. Longview, yeah, okay. We done uh hit up uh what's that uh what's the club? City lights. Okay, uh, city lights. Inside Dallas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think what was that? Oh bad. Yeah, what was that ghetto? I think ghetto the twins, fifth war boys, old scene. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so y'all don't, don't touch me. Who you don't been on? Who you, you don't been on stage with some, with some famous people too, huh? Yeah, like the, that show right there. Yeah, right. Did that? Uh, was so to see when I think I, I'm thinking it was Longview. It, uh, I think it was Lil Kiki when Lil Kiki came out with mm -hmm. that uh, the South Side. Oh, South, South Side. Side. Yeah, the South Side. Yeah, the South Side. Yeah, Body Rock. Yeah, we yeah, 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 I'm talking about. I ain't even had no album out there. I think I had. A, we had a few songs. We mm -hmm. walking through. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. People asking us to sign autographs and shit. I'm talking about that was a good thing. The fucking shit. So I find them hoes too, shit. I mean, somebody, it, somebody yeah. got a uh, who album? I think it was Fifth Ward Boys with Bunky on the back of that hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sign my poster. Yeah, hey, sign shout out Fifth Ward Boys for the Bunky Boys down south, man. For real. So, all right. So, what? Like, what's your? Okay, now out of your. <clears throat> Your independent work is just solo artists, you know what I'm talking about? Where you get the name Bunky from? Where Bunky arrived from? Bunky, my mama gave me that name. You know, I asked her something about it. I'm like, how that Bunky name came? She said something about hunching the leg or something. And they just say Bunky. What? Under the leg. Look at that Bunky. So Talk yeah, about the little boys when we, we under them girls dressed and shit. <laughs> so that, that's a childhood name. You know, my mama gave me that when I was a baby, you know what I'm saying? So. Man, shout out to mama, you know what I'm saying? Shit, already, you know what I'm saying? You yeah, yeah. you you be birthing legends around here, you know. Come up, I was like, damn. At like, first, you know, I was thinking, you know, gangsta B. I was like, nah, fuck it. I'm just gonna stay bunky. Okay, I so, just ran with bunky. So, not not no gangsta B, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so everybody was like, okay. All right, shit. I still I don't even remember my first rap name. I don't even think I can remember my first fat, uh, rap name. Mm -hmm. I think I one nigga try to call me Butter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I like hell, nah, nigga. I ain't finna be no motherfucking Butter, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Yeah. Like, nah, I ain't finna be that, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, nah, nah, shout out, nah. Okay, so, I was finna say something else, but fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to my nigga that try to call me butter, though. Yeah. But anyway, so, like, 
what is it that that you don't, that you don't read or that you don't learn in your process of doing this music to let you know that okay now it also involved paperwork. You know what I'm saying? When did, when did you start getting involved with the paperwork side of music? Paperwork, um, I want to say copyright. Copyright. Like, yeah, with the copyright and right. all that. Wait, well, talking about back in the day when we used to bail that hotel ourselves yeah, and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think we all yeah. close it up. Yeah, yeah close it up. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Copyright and um, that's how I came across uh, the business name. I had to go downtown and. The downtown, uh, yeah, real shit, your name and shit. Your name and all that type of shit. See, when I was younger, you know, I was all, well, we was always hoping, you know what I'm right. saying, to just get discovered. Right. And, you know, the label come in and they take care of all that, you know what I'm saying? But, right. Yeah, so shit, nigga. Had to Hell. Get wild and take care of all that shit by yourself, really, you know what I'm saying? Right. Shit, so, man, what, man, like, Who, who is who is okay? Who is Bookie? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Tell people who is Bookie. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I'm saying, uh, just a man. You know, somebody fell in love with music at a young age. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fell in love with doing it. Right. And it's been with me on you know, somebody since shit, since my teens. Right. Well, I man, what's what is like like picking your production? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's your like? Who's your who's your main? Composer that you go to, and what is it like searching for production? Um, cause I tell you, you got an ear. Yeah, I ain't really just got no 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 main main. You know, somebody mm -hmm. I I heard some. You know, some people you know some people reach out to me. If I heard something I like it. You know, what I'm talking about I'm right. trying to get it. Right. And you know, a lot of times you know <coughs> it'd be like what I like. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I like it, but uh, you know. Right. Somebody else might not like this, you know. I feel right. <coughs> he, ain't, he ain't even smoking any lit. Shit, shit, shit. Hell, goddamn me, shit. Shit. Hey, yeah, we lit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Ain't been hot, but nah. Let me tell you about. I got. Yeah, tell me about when he fucked the weed, so cause I wanna know why you yeah. don't smoke the weed. You know what I'm saying? Cause my nigga ain't hit the weed all through the whole bit. Yeah, nigga just smoke, nigga just uh, smoke. Uh, but it, it's been a minute though. Right. You know, I, I was smoking when they had the Reggie. I ain't been on this cushion corn. Yeah. I mean, cushion. Man, I had some fire Reggie back in the day. Now we know, you know, even though we be talking down on the Reggie. But nigga, man, back in the day, nigga had them Christmas trees. Nigga, I'm talking yeah. like, yeah, hell yeah, damn right. I know. Yeah, it's been a minute since I yeah. say. But uh, Christmas though, I had wound up getting the edible. Because I'm talking about I'm like, man, edible don't do nothing. Man, I don't, pop, I don't chew the edible before it don't do nothing to me. But, uh, King came through. He was like, nah, nigga, he's gonna get you. I said, whatever, man. He said, take one of them, bro. Take one. But you know, we don't listen. Right. <clears throat> he left. I'm in there chilling. Chewing. Sitting there chilling for a minute, chilling. Woo, 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 woo. And then uh, I felt it coming on a little bit. Then it felt like it just went away. I said, man, I'm chewing nothing. <coughs> oh, shit, that's when that sweet <clears throat> and good. They don't take nothing but that oh, sugar. Shit. I chewed a nothing. I felt the motherfucker coming on, and then, you know, back in the days, get high and this in the bone. So I'm like, y'all felt that bitch coming on? I'm high in the motherfucker. I cut bone on. I'm in that bitch grooving, this in the bone. Then it felt like it just went away. I chewed a nothing. Not to mention, my, my, my kid was told me, just take one. So, you know, <coughs> I wound up, uh, <coughs> they call it. It was three of them. I took. But I'm sitting up here, I'm feeling good. I'm high in the motherfucker. Like, they ain't been high in a minute. I wind up going to sleep. I think it was like five o'clock in the morning. So I'm just saying, get up. I woke up. Like, what the fuck going on? <laughs> oh, this nigga spoke. I'm spoke like a hoe. This nigga spoke like a hoe. I'm yelling, scream. I'm yelling, help me. Help me. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, who coming? <laughs> I'm going to the kitchen, man. I'm drinking, uh, I got a, uh, a jug of, um, what you call that shit? Um, uh, uh, pickle juice. Pickle juice. I'm in the uh, kitchen. Oh, here, yeah, a panic attack. Oh, Help okay. <laughs> Get this shit off of me. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, he having a panic attack, boy. He that weed hugging him. He hiding the motherfucker. That weed hugging him. Nah, it was showing you some love. <laughs> 
bitch. Nah, man. Okay, see it. Well, shit. You know, some weed ain't just for everybody. I mean, edibles, you know what I'm saying? For all y'all out there, you know what I'm saying? But that means it's bottle for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I still had some left. I told man, Uncle, come get this shit. Yeah, hey, yeah. This shit, I, boy, I wish I was your uncle. I'd be right over there with it. <laughs> yeah, shit, let me get that right there, nephew. You know what I'm talking about? You sure came and got it. <coughs> like, yeah, bro, you be keep talking shit. about this bone over man. What's your favorite bone song? Favorite bone song? Yeah, group, we, or, group or just. The first bone, okay, let's get the favorite group bone song and then Busy Bone. Say bone, 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 favorite bone. So I don't really got no favorite because I, I like a lot of guys. Man, all that shit. Yeah, you can run that shit. You can run that shit, but it's, it's just that one. That one. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it because, man, come on, you got, you got so many because you got that more murder. That, that, that's murder. what I was going to say. Murder. I was going to hit you with that one. <laughs> that one. Uh, <laughs> that's that one. Yeah. Shit. Nigga. Mm, I don't know, man. Yeah, I say more murder. My murder was a bitch, and then they got damn me, uh, that, uh, that Buddha lover. Yeah, Buddha lover. Buddha lover was a goddamn bitch. Mm -hmm. Goddamn me. Buddha lover. I, I, man, that was my, nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. I think I had one of my favorite bones on that album. Yeah, Buddha lover. 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 Yeah, Buddha you know you had the bone CD, you know what I'm saying? That bitch all gray with the scone etched out on the outside, you know what I'm saying? The temple, everything on that bitch. Man, when you listen to after after uh Buddha Lover, it was a song that came on after that whole and that bitch was uh <coughs> and lazy like, uh, uh, lazy jumped that hoe off, I think. I'm trying to think was the getaway? Nah, man, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to go back on my bone CD and get on that shit. We're gonna get past that right quick. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about. Okay, let's talk about your uh, your uh your top three rappers of all time. What say? Do you listen to anything else besides rap? You looking at old school? Any uh, you know what I'm saying? Any uh, uh, Britney Spears? Any uh, Jessica Simpson? Anything like that? Nah, nah, bullshit. I just seen something on Britney Spears a while ago. I'm like, damn, she. She tripping. Oh yeah, you know, you know, Britney always, man. Say, so. butt naked on, on, on Instagram. <coughs> butt naked. But yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I listen to all. I listen to different music. You listen, man. You listen to the man now, all right? Because if I ask you your top three on country singles, man, you gonna say that? I ain't gonna be able to go there. <coughs> but you know what? When people playing that country, I, I can't think of the names and all that. It's some good, it's some good country. You know man, country, country, man, it's like, yeah, man, we ain't finna talk about country music no more, man. Don't white boys, it's terrible. I'm gonna pick people up terrible on their country. You be thinking rap terrible, man. They be talking about some real live nigga mm -hmm. something. Nah, they off some off the wall. Yeah. Psychopath, See, killer. You really, you really listen to what they talking about. You be like, hold on, man, why that bad? Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. They talking about killing that bitch and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, they, they talking about all that premeditated songs and yeah. all that. That's why I be like, man, but so, but it sound good. Yeah, it yeah. Sound, yeah, it sound good. We <laughs> okay, so we gonna say, what's your your top three rappers of all time? Top three all time. Uh, I wanna say Pimp. Okay, Pimp. Okay, Pimp. Shout out. Let's put Zero in there. Oh, you fuck with the Ro, man? Yeah. All right, shout out Ro. Pimp, Zero, and Busy Bone. And Busy Bone. Mm -hmm. That's a bad one, man. I remember I seen Zeke next say, like, man, nah, you bullshitting. I seen all three of them at a motherfucker, uh, at a concert, uh, at the, uh, I think it was the, the car show summer jam yeah. downtown when Busy Bone, it was Busy Bone and all them, they had came and did that car show. I remember what year it was, but I remember when they came down, this Busy Bone ball hit at the yeah. time. Yeah, it was back then. <laughs> Zero came down, did the show and everything, yeah. shit. Goddamn me, so that was back in the day. That's crazy you said that. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, damn. Well, busy, I think, well, he lived down in Houston now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. A, yeah. I heard they got a lot of people out here in Texas. So I think it's, some, it's somebody else, lady, or somebody got some family in Fort Worth or some shit yeah. like that. Yeah, this shit crazy. Mm -hmm. so, all right, so we already know you already want to work with Busy, so Busy, we're going we gonna to make sure we try to plug it in some type of way. You got to come on, tune in, man. Uh, all right, so. Let me see, what's your top, you know what I'm saying? Cause you don't smoke weed, so I can't ask you your top three strings. I gotta come over the whole, you know what I'm saying? What, what kind of sports you like, man? Basketball. You oh, like basketball, man. Basketball. basketball. Football, Knicks. Football. Yeah. Uh, man, what we, what we looking like right now? 
The cowboy. Cowboy man. Well, what uh, we looking like? I just seen who they said somebody had it. Somebody had. It. They said it got COVID or something. But uh, we looking good though. We think we. But we, you know, we done been we done been down this road before. You know what I'm saying? But we have a good ass record. And as soon as we get to the playoffs. Man, shout out to the boys. Man, the boys say the boys say the boys say. Yeah, shout out to the boys, man. I hope you know. You know what I'm saying? The boys. The boys, win or lose. Man, you know what I'm saying? We're going to ride for them. You know what I'm saying? So, but, okay, we're going to, okay, which man, who your, uh, okay, you say basketball first, eh? Okay. So, who your who your top three players all the time? <laughs> uh, uh, my first favorite player, you know, everybody that know, but they already know what I'm going to say. So, uh, I'm say Spud Will. Spud Will. Oh shit, nigga! I just, shit, I thought he was finna say Jordan. Nigga, you nigga said Spud. Okay. Spud will. Oh, that's a, that's a bad one right there. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go with Kenny Anderson. You know they used to call me Kenny Anderson in school. So okay, okay, he got some. Anderson. Oh, all right. And then I'm gonna have to go with um, Spud Webb, Kenny Anderson, and then um, I'll say Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, shit, <clears throat> all right, shit. What what team? What teams you fucking with right now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was all throwback. Hold on. <laughs> what team? I'm just saying. I mean, that's I mean, hell. That's all your shit. It's your all time. I, 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 I shit. Okay, you gonna okay, throw your little stand there? Hold on. All right. Who got Dennis Rodman? I say Spud Webb, Kenny Anderson, and then Dirk. Dirk. Yeah, Dirk oh, say Dirk, yeah. That's my boy right there. Yeah, Dirk got some, yeah, you know what I mean? He came through for the Dallas boy. Yeah, yeah Mavs, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Mavs. He came through for us, you know what I'm saying? God damn me. All right, what's your favorite team? Mavericks. Dallas all of Ma- Maverick, okay, so you, you Mavericks, all, so you been Mavericks from back in the day. Yeah. How long you been a Mavericks fan, man? Boys, I can see it over. Shit, for a long time. For a long time. <laughs> so if I say, so if I say Tony Dumas. Yeah, I know Tony. Oh shit. Yeah, I know Tony. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. All right. All right. Shit. Okay. My nigga. Okay. All right. Can't miss my nigga then. Okay. Shit. My nigga from Dallas. <laughs> nah, square business. Nah, for real. Most nigga, you say Tony Dumas, nigga be like, who? Who the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? All right, shit, nigga. Who we? Who was? Who was our strong team back in the day with the Niners? We had Harper. We had oh, Finley. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, we, we had the uh, the what the what the, uh, uh, the, uh, Jimmy, the what the, the, the three J's. The three J's. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get. Yeah, yeah there you go. Jimmy, shit. Jimmy Jackson. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it uh, Jimmy Jackson? Jason Kidd went on right there. Well, it was Jimmy Jackson. Nah, we didn't have kids yet. No, kids left. Kid. No, I don't we think had. he had came then. It was Jamal Mass, Jamal Mass, Jamal Mass Jackson. And then who the third person? Oh. Uh, Man, me either, shit. <laughs> but I remember the motherfucking yeah, shit, goddamn We We had a three J's. That's what we had, goddamn me. So, shit, all right. So, man, what you got planned, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? As far as your career in the next, you know what I'm saying? Couple years, you know what I'm saying? Me, man, uh, as far as like with music, man, I kind of want to put out, you know, I'm, I'm kind of want to put somebody else out, get behind them. Really, like, kind of focusing on my little brother. Okay, I see, okay. You know what I'm talking about? He, he, he kind of focused right now. Dedicated right now, so I'm, I'm looking, you know, forward to trying to put my little brother on out there, man. It's a good time because the city yeah. looking good right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You been keeping your eye on people. You seen anybody blooming in the city? Got some, make, make some noise. Um, Everybody doing their thing, yeah, man. Everybody doing their thing right now. Yes, yes, yes. I've seen a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Mm-hmm. It's a lot now, though. Cause back in the day, it used to be easy, fine. Yeah. Oh, you go outside, nigga. Be at the, you know what I'm saying? Boom. We say you go to CD. Woo, woo. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like whew, you gotta keep up with them. You know what I'm saying? Cause they coming. They, I'm talking. About, they popping out like. <laughs> 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 Remember like how Martin when it, when old girl was having that baby and that nigga say shit. I'm going back. They came and yeah. caught that old blue. That's how the motherfuckers <laughs> coming out now, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't about you. Ain't about you ain't about to check my city out. Yeah. They can turn around and say, check mine out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For real. Yeah. So, alright, so, oh, okay, like, let me see. Because I still got two, I still got like two more questions before I get to this question. So, um, like, what you, what you, what you think we looking like right now as a city right now? You know what I'm saying? 
what, what kind of shape we in right now. You know what I'm saying? Because things are changing. Highways are changing, you know what I'm saying? Laws are changing, we got new laws now. But the good thing is that we got a lot of people moving in from everywhere. Yeah. I'm talking about they evacuating Cali, they evacuating uh, uh, New York, <coughs> everything, and they, they setting up shop here. Yeah, they talking about having a Super Bowl real. They, all that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like they talking about all that, you know what I'm saying? And then you gotta realize they bring Google, all that. Yeah. All them businesses that you know that that LA and all them had them. I mean, they here now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what you so so what you think we the Dallas looking like as a city now? You know what I'm saying? Because now we don't have to fly to Cali no more. Mm -mm. Now we yeah we. <laughs> hey man, the city looking good. Yeah. To me, you know, the city always been looking good to me, man. Yeah. We just need to keep doing what we're doing. Keep doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep doing what we're doing. Keep yeah. grinding. Keep putting out good music. Right, 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 right. So, like, who you been, who you been working with lately? You know what I'm saying? That you been, um, that you got on your roster. I see, cause I seen you, uh, you did a song with uh, Chase Pat. You know what I'm saying? You know he was in the uh, Triple D Revenge movie. You know what I'm saying? Got his little cameo on. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? That's on the accolades. Who else? Who else you been working with lately? Uh, on? Uh, on a new project, I got a uh, Chase Pat, like you say. Uh, Young Bleed on that thing. Yeah, you got Young Bleed on that thing. Uh, well, I got my partner Eddie Mac. Man, shout out Young Bleed, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he pulled up. Mm -hmm. Like, for real. Eddie Mac, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 Eddie Mac, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out Eddie Mac, man. Eddie Mac, I'm better. That's like that's my brother right there. So oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Until the wheels fall off. Yeah man, that man, I, I, I like it. I like I like y'all style, man. Y'all compliment each other like real well, well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's all we got. That's all we got. Do you want to get any shout outs or anything? Any you want to say the floor is yours? You know what I'm saying? We, yeah, shit. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody making you know making noise out like there doing something, staying productive. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate for, you know, it. for having me. You know what man, I had to get I had to get you up here, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, I gotta do it right, man. You know what I'm saying? We gotta make sure the people know yeah. what we doing out there. You know what I'm saying? Who out here? You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's what the platform for. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shit. So okay. So anything you want, you can tell anybody where they can get everything at. You know what oh, I'm saying? Shit, Bunky. You yeah. Type Bunky up on anything. Bunky B O O E N K E Y. Bunky. Yeah, you heard it, you know what I'm saying? And now before we get up out of here, you know what I'm saying? I always ask this question, you know what I'm saying? If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? I think you, I think you asked everything. <laughs> and then you can say, I think I asked everything. That's that question right there, you man. Said, I, think, I think you asked everything. Yeah, I asked everything, man. Yeah, Man, I don't know. I probably did ask everything, man. I probably did, man. So long as the family, everybody good, everybody, you know what I'm saying? The thugging, you know what I'm saying? Making good music, we out here for surviving, I guess so, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I like to say, you know, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? I got to learn more about you, you know what I'm saying? Spend time with you and the shit. And, and I know it's real thorough and it's real. Y'all you know, make sure y'all go cop all the albums, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go stream all these right here, you know what I'm saying? And we still ones for the dick, too. So we still getting it out here, boy. You know what I'm saying? that old shit on Jet Piff. Nah, shit. Underground players, you know, UGP. Go get all that shit. Go get all that shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, I already know, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. You know what I'm talking about? Like, hey man, it's, everybody just stay focused, stay grinding, you know what I'm saying? Dallas is open right now. All the businesses are here. We ain't gotta fly out that much, man. We go straight to Google, we go straight there in the minute, we finna get ready to go straight walking to you, uh YouTube and shit and then start, you know what I'm saying, man, making these deals, you know what I'm saying? You know, like I say, each one teach one, you know what I'm saying? Everybody get your publishing right, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know, nigga, just ask, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, hey, somebody gonna sprinkle you with that game, you know what I'm saying? Until then, you know what I'm saying, keep these motherfucking blood lips, nigga, stay lit to life, you know what I'm saying? And we about this bitch! <laughs> Growing <laughs> up, I was into street shit Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit But I always knew that I would be